I have a lot of newsletter emails that I get every day. And you can search YouTube and Google and find lots of options to bulk unsubscribe to everything. But I really didn't want to do that. I wanted a way to easily choose what newsletters I unsubscribe from. So that's why I created the automation you will see in this video. It makes it easy to unsubscribe to the newsletters you want to unsubscribe to and ignore the ones you want to keep. My name is Andy O'Neill and I help entrepreneurs like you add automation to their business. And in the case of this video, add automation to declutter your inbox. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an automation that does a few steps. The first step or the trigger step will watch your Gmail workspace email account for new emails that contain the word unsubscribe. This is how we're gonna find and curate those emails so we can decide whether or not we want to get rid of them or keep them for the future. Next, we're gonna extract the URL from those emails and we're gonna put those together in a single email that we're gonna to send to ourselves once a day. The automation I'm gonna show you is going to use a drag and drop visual no-code automation system called Make. You can go to make.com and check them out. If you don't have a Make account yet, check out the description and there's a link there that is an affiliate link that will take you over to Make and give you a free month of their core plan when you sign up using that link. Once you get this automation set up on your account, the free plan should be enough to run this every day and deliver you the results that you're gonna see in this video. Just a quick note, the automation you're gonna see me build with Make could be a little technical for some people. If you're uncomfortable building this yourself, there's a link in the description where you can book some time with me and I will walk you through this scenario and build it in front of you over a live Zoom call. Okay, every automation starts with a trigger step and our trigger step for this automation we're going to build is a Gmail watch email. That's what that trigger step is called. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna watch for new emails that contain the word unsubscribe it's gonna find all those emails for the last 24 hours and gather them up and run them through the automation we're gonna build. So I'm over here in my Make account and you can see here's that first step. Uh, when you build this yourself, you're gonna to have to click Add and you're gonna to have to authenticate with your Google Workspace account. This will not work well with a regular Gmail account because Google has changed the permissions and this will time out and cause you problems over time. So this is best done with a Google Workspace account. The folder we're gonna watch is the all mail folder and the filter type is a Gmail filter. So if you ever use Gmail and you're searching for mail and you just type things up there like you're doing a Google search, that's the kind of search we're gonna do. It's gonna look here for anything that it contains unsubscribe. So our query would be the word unsubscribe. This step, Mark email messages as read when fetched, that's up to you. It can mark them as read when it gets them or you can leave them alone. The final box down here, we need to put something in. You kind of have need to have an idea of how many newsletters you get. I've put 200 in here and it's worked for me. I don't get more than 200 a day. Um, if you get more than 200 a day, I'm really sorry, uh, but you're gonna wanna make this number higher than the typical day's worth of emails you get. And so if you get, 400 newsletters a day, I would set this at six or 800 just to be sure you get all of those. Because if, if you get 500 a day and this is set to 400, it's gonna miss 100 of those emails. So this is the number of results it's gonna get you when it runs each day. So once that's set up, you're gonna click okay. All right, so let's talk about the second module in our automation. This is the text parser module and it's gonna scrape the unsubscribed email from any link that contains the word unsubscribe. So if you think about the emails you're receiving, the newsletters, there's an unsubscribe link at the bottom. Sometimes it's really hard to find. Sometimes it's a tiny print. Basically what this step's gonna do is it's gonna say, let's find a link where the words of the link contain unsubscribe. So the link could say unsubscribe, click here to unsubscribe, unsubscribe here, whatever it is. It's gonna look for that word unsubscribe and it's gonna get the link that's underneath that in the HTML code. All right, so let's take a look at what that looks like. The way this works is it's actually using, it's matching a pattern with something called regular expression. Now, if you don't know anything about regular expression, you can simply copy what you see here on the screen if you're building this yourself. Regular expression is used to search through a lot of text to find 
a match. So in this case, we're looking for a match where the word unsubscribe is linked and we're getting the link from underneath that in the code. So what we're going to do here is we have the text we're going to search is our HTML text from our email. We're going to look all the way through that HTML. We're going to find a link that contains unsubscribe and we're going to extract that link. We're going to extract the URL of that link out because that's what we want to click on to unsubscribe later. Let's take a look at the email that we're trying to create. Now I call this my unsubby management digest, and this is my digest from July 3rd. So you can see here the sender, it was manage WP. They sent me notification. They actually sent me five notifications this day. And these are nested underneath that sender name. And then we have that where it says performance alert for, that is a link that actually takes me to the email. And down here is a link that I can click to unsubscribe. So I can quickly scan these. Uh, if I want to, I can click and open the email and see what the email said. And then I can unsubscribe just by going down this and clicking the unsubscribe button. So we wanna to try to create this section of the email, the, the subject line linked to the email. And then we have the unsubscribe from this newsletter link that would take us to the unsubscribe page. So the way we're gonna do this, and we are writing a little bit of HTML here, uh, so if you're not familiar with HTML, again, you can book some time on my calendar or a member of my team's calendar in the description below, and we'll build this for you. And you won't have to worry about learning HTML. So what we're doing is we're sorting through all of those emails that were retrieved from our inbox over the last 24 hours. We're going to group those by the sender's name. So you can see over here, here's, here's the data we get from Gmail. So we have when it was received, who it was delivered to, all the information. Here's the subject. Here's our HTML content. And then here's the sender name. And this particular result is Phil at no code ops. And you can see the email address that he used to send that. So we're gonna use the sender's name. So in this case, if this came through, the sender would be Phil at no code ops. And then we're gonna have a list of the messages. So here's where we create the message link. This is the HTML. I have a little regular expression in here again which is taking out the user number. Basically, when you have a link to an email with Gmail, it adds a user number. That user number corresponds with which email account you're logged into. If you're never logged into another account, this is not a big deal. Sometimes I'm lo logged into six, seven, or eight other accounts. So that, will, that user number will be anywhere between zero to seven or eight. So I wanna take that out because if there's a mismatch with the user number, we won't get to the right message. So we're just gonna clean that out. That that's what that is there for. And then right here is an unsubscribe from this newsletter link. And that has the mapping for the link we got in the previous step. All right, so this step, just as a reminder, creates this section right here. Now we're gonna to go to this step here and that step creates this full block. So we have the sender and we have all the emails that were sent from that particular sender. This may not be a big deal for you, but I have some lists I'm on where they send me multiple per day. So I wanted to group those up and uh, be able to unsubscribe, see how many they're sending me and unsubscribe accordingly. So basically we're going to group this information from this previous step. And what we're gonna end up with is the HTML that creates this. Now, if we have more than one sender, this will repeat as many times as necessary to show us all of the senders and all of the emails that were sent by that sender each day. Our last step here is we're gonna send ourselves an email with this HTML that we've created with all the unsubscribe links in here. This is a pretty easy setup. For your connection, you're gonna use the same connection as in this first step. You don't have to create a new connection each time you have a module. As long as it's the same account, you can use that same connection. You're gonna tell it what email address to send to and then we're gonna give it a subject line. The subject line I give it, as you can see up here, I have JUL for July 3rd, 2023, Unsubby Management Digest. Over here, what I've done is I've done a format date and I've said, whatever the time is right now, we're gonna say a three letter month, the day and a four digit year. And then we're gonna to add to that Unsubby Management Digest. This email was sent on July 3rd of 2023. So that's our subject line. And then my content of that email is gonna be this HTML from this final step. 
I'm going to look at my scheduling here. This runs every day at 1600 hours, which is 4 p.m. my time. You can set whatever time you want here. And this is what that email will look like when it's sent to you. So you can very quickly see who the sender is. You can see that the email or emails they've sent to you. You can click right here on the subject line of that email and go look at that email. If you want to read it, see what they sent, what it was all about. And then below each one of those, there's a link to unsubscribe. So this is the easiest way I have found to manage my newsletters in my inbox on a daily basis. Basically, I'm curating those unsubscribe links. I can choose what to unsubscribe from and what I want to keep each day. If I can help you or a member of my team can help build this for you, check out the link in the description below and we'll be happy to jump on a Zoom call and walk you through this and set this up on your own make account for your Google Workspace email address. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.